Hello, in this video, we're given the graph of an equation, y squared equals four minus x, and we're being asked to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And there might be more than one of each, but I just wrote intercept to keep it simple. So the x-intercept is where the graph, which you see here in yellow, intercepts the x-axis, which is the horizontal axis here. In other words, it's going to touch it or cross it. So right here, this red dot, that's where this occurs. So from the origin, which is the point zero comma zero, we're going right by one, two, three, four. So the x coordinate is four, and then we're going up by zero, so we're not really going up or down, so the y coordinate is zero. So this would be the x intercept in this particular example. Some people will just write x equals four, that's fine. A better answer is four comma zero. Now let's find the y-intercepts. There's actually two. This is where the graph, which you see in yellow, crosses or touches the y-axis, which is this vertical line here. So you see it's crossing it right here at this red dot and right here at this red dot. This first red dot, this ordered pair, well, the x-coordinate would be zero because you're not really going right or left at all, but you're going up two. So this ordered pair would be zero comma two. So let's write down our y-intercepts. So our first y-intercept would be zero comma two because you go right zero and up two. And the one on the bottom, well, you go right zero or left zero, right? You're not really going zero, you're not really going right or left in any direction, but you're going down by two. So it'll be zero negative two. These would be the y-intercepts. The graph of this equation has two y-intercepts and one x-intercepts. If you already know some math, you might be thinking, hey, this is not a function because it fails the vertical line test because it crosses twice. Yep, you would be correct in saying that. But in any case, that wasn't the question. We're just looking for intercepts. Hopefully this video has been helpful and you've learned some math. If you feel like you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck.